Greetings and welcome to another Diablo 2 Resurrected video. Today I want to show you how you can socket your gear, your items. For example, if you found something like a monarch shield, but you need it with four open socket. And please don't mind the indestructible tag here. This is a, an error with the hero editor. Uh, but if you find it in the normal form and you just want to put in socket, to it because you want four open sockets for your spirit shield you can do so with the last sock quest right here Afternoon. just add sockets put it in here and it will always get the maximum amounts of possible sockets which is four sockets in the monarch shield but there is another way that you can do this you can put it in the cube with a perfect ruby with an m rune and a rel rune this is the recipe for socketing shields and it will roll up to four sockets so it will roll sockets into it but it's random if it's one two three or four socket in this case so up to the maximum amount of sockets available on a shield which is four for the monarch so you have a 25 percent chance to roll four open sockets this is a nice way if you have already used your last request and let's just try it here and for some reason it does not work. What did I do wrong? Wait a second. E L M perfect ruby. Whoops. My bad. But this is how we learn. <laughs> I won't cut this out. So it's tell M perfect ruby. Sorry about that. I will post edit it uh, and put up the recipes on the screen for you and here we go we got four open sockets which was a lucky roll because it's 25 percent chance uh, it could have been one two or three sockets as well and also if you want like a crystal sword and do a, a spirit in it you also want four open sockets in this and you can also go to last sock, but you have to be careful where you find that crystal sword because crystal swords can go up to six sockets. And how many sockets can be in a crystal sword depends on the item level, which unfortunately you cannot see on the item itself, but you know it from where it drops. Like a crystal sword with a sufficient item level to gain four sockets maximum drops at normal cow level, for example. And starting like end of Act 5, but it's not that 100% guaranteed since uh, it depends on what monster drops it and what area level you're currently in. So the best bet would be cow level in normal um, to get a guaranteed four open sockets from Lasuk. Or to roll it in your, and let's double check the uh, recipe right now, roll it in your cube and be lucky for four open sockets. Rel M perfect amethyst. Rel M perfect M. Oops, amethyst. And again, you can be lucky. And here is an interesting part. If this weapon it has an item level where it cannot exceed a maximum number of four sockets, the base of this weapon is still possible to have six open sockets which will be calculated in this roll which basically means that you have a higher chance to have four open sockets because it will look at the weapon and say okay it can have one two three four five or six open sockets but this item level can only have four and if this cube recipe rolls six open sockets it will get four because it's the maximum right now i hope this makes sense um so we have a higher chance of running of, of rolling four open sockets if this weapon has the right item level for us if we want four open sockets. So let's just try it. And we got two open sockets, which is unfortunate. But there you go. Uh, also, we have, of course, body armors. If you find something that you want to roll. And let's do this recipe as well. It's... I need to double check again. Tal tool perfect popas tool. What the fuck did I do? I don't have a tal rune. Well, I guess I screwed that up and I need to post edit it. One moment. So here we are back and I have the tal rune right here and the perfect 
topaz that we need. And same goes uh, here. So if the dust crowd is low item level, then it can only roll up to two sockets, for example. And in general, dust crowd can, I think, only roll up to uh, three sockets. No, it's it's maximum number of sockets of four. So can I have four sockets? Not every armor can, I think. But this these are some details that you have to like find out and Google and also need to be aware what item level your item is, which you only can guess if you know the area level where you found that item, which is a bit unfortunate. I hope they someday bring the item level on the item as a as a description it would be would be very nice. So Tool, Tal, and Perfect Topos. Let's transmute, and we have three open sockets if we need that. And again, please don't mind the indestructible tag. I cannot remove that from the hero editor. Also, it, it does not have any defense, but it's just for like showing how the recipe works. So we also have a helmet, and this is Tool, Ral, and Perfect Sapphire, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. Raw tool, perfect sapphire. And again, you can also go to last look and socket it. And he always gives the maximum amount of possible sockets, depending on the item level this item has. The same deal with a helmet. And if you transmute it, you get, in this case, possibly up to three sockets. I need to look that up. Let's circle it can have two sockets maximum. So we got the maximum amount right here, which was a 50-50% chance with the cube. So there you go. You have like these different uh, approaches to socket your items, but there's a caveat. This cube recipe only works with normal, so white um, items, only with like shields weapons, armor, and helmets, and they have to be of white quality. They cannot be superior. If they are superior, you have to go to Lasso, which always gives the highest amount of possible sockets again. Uh, but if you find something in a normal white quality and you want some sockets, you can try. You can also do it with Ethereal. Uh, so, sorry, uh, this also counts. So. Ethereal is also all right, like an Ethereal, don't think there's an Ethereal Crystal Sword, I'm not sure, but Ethereal Dust Crowd, for example, you can also do this, but it mustn't be superior, it just can be a normal Ethereal base. Okay, I hope you learned something from this video, and you now know that there are different approaches to socket your gear. It's a bit complicated because of the item level thing, and... I admit that uh, for a new player it's confusing because you find a crystal sword, for example, and you think like, okay, I can socket it with last hook and I will go to last hook and socket it and bam, it gets like five or six sockets because the item level is too high and you cannot see that anywhere. So you need to be aware of that and this is a part where you have to find out what area level you are and where, where you found that item. But there you go. You can use Horadrum cube recipes. I hope you enjoyed this and got some value out of it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and I see you in the next video. Good luck, have fun, goodbye.